Hey, everybody, you know y'all this girl didn't forget about y'all. I had to help take care of my dad today. That's another subject, but baby, I'm here to rant. We got to talk about Priscilla. Um, I guess she had to have her moment on the throne, huh? She got, she got right up there, and, and uh, Nicole, Richie, you know, they had to put up, pull up an extra uh, stool, and Priscilla looked over there at her, so she had to have her moment on the throne. Uh, Priscilla, how could you do this to, to Lisa? How could you take the one moment for her to actually shine about her memoir? You done did your book reviews and had your, and you've been doing this baby for years, for years. And, um, why are you trying to put hate on Michael Jackson? Huh? Because your daughter really loved him? Because he really loved her? Was you jealous of their relationship, baby? Michael Jackson didn't want Elvis' stuff. He was already famous in his own way, baby. He didn't need that, okay? He loved Lisa, and Lisa loved her and everybody. Even people that aren't aren't Michael Jackson fans could see. I have family members that could see the true love between Lisa and Michael. I have covered Michael. I love Michael Jackson, baby. Don't come for Michael, okay? I have covered him for years on my channel on my channel i have covered him on my channel on youtube and for her to go and take this moment away from lisa and say that yeah i was glad he was gone bye and all that who do you think you are who do you think you are uh priscilla to be going up there and sit, sitting there and then you don't even read the book but you go and crash your granddaughter's book review? Help me make that make sense, y'all. Help me make that make sense. When Riley said that they called Michael, uh, yeah, I thought they called him M.M. And he, him and Lisa would drive them to school. And Lisa said that he was the love of her life. And Michael had a picture of Lisa Marie by the bedside when he, when he passed away. I mean... That's a whole nother thing right there, but who? Priscilla, baby, honey, uh-uh, uh-uh, honey. You should have been up there. You didn't even read the book, and you went up there, and you, and then you had the audacity. I'm glad I wasn't there, because I wouldn't have been standing, baby. I'm like the other ones. I wouldn't have been standing. I've been to Graceland before, but I didn't have the money to go to the event. But, honey, and then you had the, you had the audacity. To say, oh, did I get a bigger applause than you did? You know, who, are you still trying to complete, comp, uh, compete, baby? And then they asked Riley a really sentimental question about her grandfather. And she said she would just like mm. to have the day with him and ask him questions. And then you butt in mm. and say, I would like mm. him to have meet my son. Why would Elvis want to meet your son by another man that you had, baby? He, why, why would he even want to do that? And then, on top of that, I've listened to the whole book. I was going to try to upload it on my channel and do mm -hmm. uh, commentary on it, but they wouldn't let me. Uh, my, this keeps popping up. Anyways, but um, mm -hmm. you listen to the whole book. I'll, you know, I'm going to do a part two. Let me close this out, do a part two, and put Do Not Disturb on my phone so I'll stop having pop-ups. Because, honey, I'm heated up, baby. Mm -hmm. I am heated up. Priscilla, stay in your lane. We've done seen you. And baby, the fantasy is over. The fantasy is over. The truth has come out. What everyone has been thinking for years, that something was wrong with, with, uh, with, your, with the way, the, the body language between you and Lisa. And mm -hmm. then you're wanting to take away her words, how she felt about Michael on top of that and twist it. Uh-uh, I'm not here for it, baby, and a lot of Elvis fans aren't. And you was the last person we wanted to see up there on that stage. You done did your memoir, baby. You done did your movies. You done did your last movie. Step aside and let, let Lisa have her moment at Graceland. Because you never did. You never did let her have her moment at Graceland. And when she was 
uh, 25 and you were supposed to be training her to take over and she goes and sits in your seat at the head of the table? She didn't even know, probably. She just walked in and sat down and you say, who do you think you are? Uh, that is my seat. I'm the one that started this company, Graceland. You get it? Honey, I'll tell you one thing. Honey, at least, uh, my heart just, it, it aches for her. It aches for her so much. I remember the day she passed away. You could ask my family. I was crying, and I said, something is going to happen to Lisa. I, I, it, it, she didn't look right, you know, during the premiere, but even when she went to, to, uh, her, to celebrate Elvis's birthday at Graceland, I said, something, I don't feel right in my spirit. Something is, is going to happen to Lisa. And it wasn't but like two hours later we found out that she had passed away. Um, for what, you should have been up there, baby. And number one, you should have read the book. You was up there. You want to make your face known. We don't want to see you. We don't want to see you. And I, I, we're sick of seeing you, baby. We know about you. We know all the history and all that stuff. We know, I know all that. This was Lisa's moment and her daughter's moment to have a moment to, 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 to share with, with the audience about their mother. And I heard some people walked out. Now, I would have been like the other ones, baby, because I'm there for the tea. And I'm there for the hot mm. tea, flaming tea. I'm going to pay to go to go there and for the book review and get a signed book and get to, to see Riley talk about it, baby. Oh, you sure bet. When your book come out on that stage, I'm sitting. I'm not going to stand and applaud. But, honey, I'm going to stay because I'm going to get the hot tea of what you're really there about. And um, is this another comp? Are you trying to carry on the competition thing? Are you trying to have a competition with Riley? Because, ba baby, your time's up. Your time's up, baby. You need to just sit back. Go go get you some hot cocoa. Go play some bingo games. Go uh paint your nails and and, and, and get in your uh your little group or whatever you have going on. Because we're we're as Elvis fans, as Michael Jackson's fans, as Lisa Marie fans, I used to be your fan until I found out. Because I start looking at Lisa, and before this memoir ever came out, I, on my channel, you can go back several months back, like two months ago, two or three months ago, I said, I'm here to find out what, something is not right in the water, baby. Something don't smell right, baby, okay? It don't smell right. Because Lisa, I said, I, something has happened that we're all unaware of. There's a lot of hurt in her body language with her mother. Was like, uh, you know, and I'm not here to damn her as someone that's lost a daughter and a grandchild, but baby, you have balls of steel. That's all I could say to get up there because baby, if I'd got up there, I'd done read that book. I done had my lines written down. I done said, baby, uh, you know, I'm sorry. You know how you know how uh, Priscilla does her voice. I'm so sorry that I wasn't there for my daughter and I tried to. Put her off on everybody, and she rather live in a room at the at the Scientology church than to be with me. I'm sorry I let her get physically abused by a man I left her with, knowing it had done happen, and then almost blamed her for it for six years. I'm sorry I made her learn French when I was with a French guy. I'm sorry that um that I'm Elvis had a cry because his daughter wanted to stay with with him you know and he he was he was uh, uh what did lisa use in her book uh of a, a, a whimpering or uh like a like a he was trying to hold it in and, and, and you know what it's so what if your daughter was on that golf course she was a kid that's what she used to do with her dad she was probably trying to deal in her own way but she was too worried about what everybody else would think so you need to get off the golf cart lisa Shame, shame, shame on you, Priscilla. You need to do some deep soul searching. Because either you're in denial or either you're delusional or either you have Alzheimer's. But, baby, I'm glad I wasn't there. But I would have been sitting because I want, I want that hot tea now. But I'll be back for number two. Because I have a lot of thoughts on this. It's a disgrace. You dishonor Lisa again by doing this. And uh, poor Riley has been put in the middle of all this. She still has sisters. Here. It's sad. Love y'all. Bye, babies. I'll be back with some more tea to spill.
on this one. And I'm heated, flaming hot, baby, boiling hot. We might put a little Tony.